Welcome to Thursday, uh, the last day before the end of the trimester. Uh, so just a couple announcements right off the bat. One, if you are someone that didn't go to advisory last week, you might not know that your advisory is planning a portion of a lip dub for the whole school. Every year we do a whole wide school uh, lip dub. This year we're doing it virtually. Tomorrow is the planning portion of the lip dub and then the Friday, uh, March 26th, so like a week after we get back from spring break, that is when we'll be filming the lip dub. Um, so please come to those next two's advisories um, just so you are prepared and you can be in the whole school video. And of course, um, you are going to be planning what you're going to be doing. And also, if you are someone who wants to have a say in whether or not they have to sing or do dancing or anything like that, go to uh, advisory so you can put in your words. Uh, so that's thing number one. Thing number two, it's almost the end of the trimester. Please check your grades. If you have any missing work and uh, get that done, if you've noticed that something hasn't been graded yet, I'm keeping pretty on top of the grades, so that might mean that I missed it, so send me a message if something hasn't been graded yet. Um, thing number two, it is a winter week. We are in animal day today. This was recorded yesterday, so I don't have my animal stuff on. Excuse me, but if you go into your house A folder, one, you can see what the days are over here. It's so like Thursday, animal day. Friday is Flex Friday, last day of Try 2.2, and then Blue, Black, and White Day. And then there is this Purple Winter Week folder that has this blue WMS Winter Week in here. And you can go into each folder. One, you can see what the presentation was. You can see a video about it. Uh, and then on Thursday, you can go in, you can take a picture of you with your Animal Day outfit to submit to the yearbook. And then you can also uh, complete this to get points for your house for winter week. We can get winter week points. So you can um, make artwork, do Legos, do a painting, do a sculpture, something creating an animal. You can make a snow person. You can make an animal that way. Um, and so this submitting a picture of what you created or a video of what you created will also get you points. And I think think you can go back to previous days, I think. So like if you didn't take the Wednesday puzzle quiz, try that one and see if you can still do it if you didn't already do it. And then Friday, blue, black, and white day. So for your Friday flex day, uh, show up to your Friday class in your blue, black, and white gear, or at least, you know, shoulders up gear. And then you can upload a picture of yourself there as well. And again, these are for the yearbook. So if you want to be in the yearbook more than once, go ahead and some, submit, pic, submit some pictures. So that's in your uh, Links Schoology course. Let's go to courses and find this picture right here, menacingly staring at you. So that's that. I think that's all of my announcements as the bell goes off. Uh, if you have any other questions about anything, let me know. But let's get into today. Uh, today we have agenda, attendance, instruction video, as always. Uh, also, if you haven't had me or haven't been in class for a second, uh, I re-dyed my hair, so it's all purple and blue now, and it's very exciting. Um, but we have some slides today. We don't have a Pear Deck today because we're not learning anything new. So go ahead, flip through the slides to learn about what we're doing today. We are doing science articles today. Um, so it's possible you've already actually done this assignment before because we had it as an optional assignment earlier in the trimester, but now it is mandatory for everyone. So uh, sharing science articles, using science articles you were just looking at. I need to change that. You're going to be looking at science articles right here. Dig through websites and find articles that you would like and that you think your classmates would like. Complete the Google Doc below, and in the Google Doc, there will be a link to a discussion board to share your ideas. So this is the Google Doc you'll be filling out today. Search through the websites below to find science articles that interest you and think would interest your classmates. You must find at least one article from each of the websites below. So we have two or three websites. So we have... Science News for Students. So you can come here. They have tons of articles right up the top. Analyzers, explainers, what's hot things that are popular down here. Uh, things about COVID, some videos to watch. Uh, more stories down here by subject. So Earth, Space, Tech, Environment, Animals, Brain, Physics, Health and Medicine. And so you can do all of that. And then you can go over here and 
search. So go ahead, search if you really like, um, well, you really like dinosaurs. Try searching for dinosaurs and see if you get anything. Ah, a message in dinosaur's teeth, reviving dinosaurs. <laughs> Um, and so we have all of these amazing things that you can look right here, or you could just, oh, I want to learn about space. I'm going to click on space and I'm going to look to see what some of the, uh, articles are. So that is resource number one. Resource number two, science, science journal for kids. So you're going to click here, uh, and you are going to find some articles here as well. Um, so you can find articles that are right here on the front page. Uh, and there's tons of them that you can just go through. You can also over on the side here, search for things. So middle school, I'll probably stick to that one. Um, and then science field. So if you want to look in energy and climate, biology, pollution, social science, technology, water resources, or keywords, you can look for keywords. Like if you want to look up stuff about elephants, you can look up stuff about elephants. So go ahead and look through here. Uh, there's also stuff down here. Uh, so find stuff on this website. And then lastly, Tween Tribune, which is honestly my favorite name ever, but it's from the Smithsonian, I think. Um, or we have some things from the Smithsonian. Uh, and so you can also look up here for grades. So we're in fifth and sixth grade. Uh, and you can just look through here for all these amazing video, uh, amazing articles. You can also look up different topics. Lexical levels, that's like reading level. And so you can see there's 38 pages here of that stuff. Or you can search for stuff up here as well. Um, and also if you're in Spanish version, you can look for stuff in Spanish. And that is that. So you're gonna find three articles from the three sites. Tell me the title, why is it interesting you, and a link to that article. And then, oh, to get the link, go here to Science News or whichever one you're doing. Say I wanna do this one. To get the link, I'm just gonna click up here. Copy, bring it over here, link to article, but of course, you can't right click, you have to do the control V and get your article there. If you want to make it like a link, you can click, hit enter, and it'll turn into a link. So that's that. Part two, choose one article from above, read it and complete the graphic organizer about the science article. So hopefully you're reading all three of them, um, but definitely uh, choose one to read to write down. You're gonna tell me the title, Three interesting facts, two I wonders, and one main idea. And then part three, you're going to go to the discussion board. And you are going to tell me the article title, the main idea, and the link to the article so that other students can do the same. And so you can see I have an example post over here. So title, kids who don't drink water consume more sweetened beverages, main idea, the article explores the health concerns around kids drinking sugary beverages. So what is the article about? And then a link. So you have a link to that article so other people can read that same article. And so for you, you are going to on here, so you're going to put the title, the main idea, and then for the link, I'm going to click here for link. And then I still have that link copied from before about that brain thing. And then I can just say article link. And then of course I will also fill out what the title and main idea is and then hit post. If I need to go back, I can click these three dots and click edit. And if I realized, ah, oh, I actually forgot to write down the title and main idea. So I can click edit and I can also click delete. So that is your Google Doc. So once you're done with that, go ahead and submit this Google Doc. On the next page, your extension is just a grade check. Because again, Friday, tomorrow is the last day of Try 2.2, so please check your grades if you haven't already. Double check stuff, send me a message, all that good stuff. And then say, yes, I did do everything. You don't have star slides, because uh, we're done with star slides. Uh, and that's what we're doing. I know this is a longer video, so thank you to those that watch these videos and watch them through. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!